Hey guys! Today's video is another haul. I went to Sephora and the drugstore and I got a couple things, nothing too crazy. Um, and I wanted to show them to you guys. They're basically all lip products and there's a couple mascaras. But I'm going to start with Sephora because I only got a couple things there and I'm sorry if you got disappointed because you saw the uh, thumbnail and you thought like wow I made your Sephora haul. But no it's actually just I got two mascaras and things like that. So let's get started there. First things first, I got the Benefit Their Real Mascara. I've wanted it ever since I got the eyeliner. I should have got it at the same time because I don't know what I was thinking. But I went last weekend and I got this and it was this in this mini eyeliner. It's super cute and it was $24 so I'm like uh yes. Um, I'm not really going to talk about this because I'm going to do like an actual review on it. I'm wearing it today. You can't really tell. But um, I'm going to do an actual review on this. So keep an eye out for that. And then I wanted to try something by Kat Von D for a long time. And I really wanted to try the foundation. But I just, I'm so scared to pay that much money for a foundation. If I don't know if it's going to be coverage enough. Because I need super full coverage because my face is red. It's broke out and it's gross so I need the most full coverage ever and I just I don't know I'm so scared but then I saw this little pack with a mascara and it also comes with this super cute mini eyeliner and I thought it was just a pencil liner but it's actually a liquid liner pen so anyway that set it was this and that little mini eyeliner for $20 and I'm like okay I want to try something by her this is cheap I want to try it I'm kind of disappointed um, the packaging is super cute, and I love it, and then I opened it, and I saw the wand, and I'm like, what? I like the formula, but the wand just ruins it for me. Like, I have thin lashes that aren't very long, so I don't know if this is as a top coat, like you put your regular mascara on, then you put this on to give it a little more sass, but the way the brush is for me does not work, okay? It spread my, like, I had this, like, three clumps of lashes on my eyes because the only place there's a bunch of bristles at the end, so the other ones just, like, spread out, so I had, like, cartoon lashes because it didn't work for me. So, I don't know if any, if any of you guys have tried this, let me know and tell me your experiences because maybe I'm doing it wrong. I don't know. I really wanted this to work for me, but I can use it on top of other mascara, but using it right by itself just does not work for my lashes. And then I got this cute little sample from Sephora. Bless this girl's heart because she was like, oh, you get a free sample because I think I just signed up for the um, beauty rewards or whatever it's called. And she's like, will you get a free sample? I'm like, okay. Well, then she was looking over. She's like, oh, God, I can't find it. I guess I don't know why I have to give you something else. Well, then she finally did find it. And it's this cute little blue mascara. Yeah, mascara. Eyeliner. And it's really nice. It's one of the... Um, it's not an actual pencil, but you sharpen it like a pencil. And I thought this was super cute. You could use it for details and stuff like that. And it's a nice bright blue. So I'm glad I got that cute little sample. Now I'm going to move on to some stuff I got at CVS. I went in there because I'm looking for special things for a haul I'm doing. And I found some stuff for myself. Because that's what always happens. Um, I got a couple things from this new brand that I've never heard of before. Until I went in there. And it's called MUA Makeup Academy. Um, and it was on sale, so I'm like, okay, I want to buy myself some of this. Um, first off, I got this. It doesn't really say what kind of lip gloss it is. Um, it's just in the color magenta. And I'm going to talk about this one, like I'm talking about everything else. I had it on earlier today, and it's really weird, to be honest. Um, the color is super gorgeous, I'm not going to lie. But first off, when I opened it up, I saw the applicator, and I was like, what? It's like a liquid eyeliner applicator. It's a brush. And I was like, oh my god. It took me like a minute and a half to put this on because you have to be like so careful as you go around your lips because it's going to go right out. Um, it smells good. It's minty, but it's not too minty. It's a nice light mint. And then after I put it on, I'm like, okay, I finally got it on. It dries to a mat and it gets chalky. It looks nice and it stays on. It does not come off because I used a makeup wipe and it took me a long time to get it off and I still had like red around my lips. So that's good. It stays on nice, but it dries and it gets chalky and it's kind of weird because it feels like I have chalk on my lips, but I might fight through it because it's such a nice color. 
I don't know what the um, description said, so maybe if it said something about that, I didn't pay attention. But like I said, the color is gorgeous. I just don't understand the rest of it. Then I saw they had crayons. So of course, you guys know I'm obsessed with my lip crayons. So I got this, and this is in Fuchsia. Their names are not very creative, are they? Um, this is not minty. It's, it's really glossy. It's not like an actual, like, you know, lipsticky crayon. It's super nice, and I like that. Aside from this chalk thing I got, the other stuff is, like, actually really, like, smooth and glossy. And I don't remember what any of the actual prices for this are, but I think this was, like, 8 bucks, and the gloss was, like, 8 bucks or 6 bucks. I don't know. Then I got a lipstick from there. And I was looking for a nice nude color, so I was like, well, I'm going to take advantage of it. I'll try theirs. And this one is in just, it's just nude. That's what the color is. I'm wearing it today. You can't really tell. And I have one of the other lip glosses I got over it to give it a little shimmer. But it is a decent um, lipstick. It's not, It has like a, I don't know what the scent is. It's like not a vanilla scent. I don't know. But it has a scent. It's not that bad. But I already broke the top of it because I didn't roll it down far enough. And I broke the tip. But yeah, it's a nice... It's not super light. It's kind of a dark brown nude. It's not what I would say would be a regular nude. But I like it anyway. So I do like the um, lipstick and the lip crayon. I'm still on the fence about this chalky thing. <laughs> After I use it a couple times, maybe I'll like it more. I don't know. I just have to experiment with it. Ugh. I just have to experiment with it, I guess. And the last things I got, I am really excited because every time I go anywhere I can't find anything by them. But I saw some things from the Kardashian collection. Um, these are from Chroma, Chroma Beauty. Isn't there a different one? Like, I think Ulta has, it's different. Like, it's, um, it's not Chroma Beauty, I don't think. I don't know, maybe it is. Whatever. So I got two of the glosses, which they're really nice packaging. The only thing I don't like is they're honey based and you can smell that right off the bat as soon as you put it on. So if you don't mind honey, these are fine for you. And I like this because they're a really light gloss and they have the like a holographic shimmer to them instead of like just glittery. I don't know how to explain it. So I was super excited. So I got two of these. I got the colors Wildflower Honey and Orange Blossom Honey. This Wildflower Honey is what I have on top of this nude I have on right now. And then I'll, and I have the Orange Blossom Honey. They're super nice. And I like the long tube. But yeah, the honey thing is what you have to get over. It's just, the honey smell is ridiculous. So I'm pretty excited because, like I said, the packaging on these is super cute. And I hope to find more stuff because they barely had anything left. They had these in the honey pots and that's all they had left. And I'm like, well, I have to get something. Um, so hopefully I can go again next time. And they'll have a bigger selection. And I was so upset because the reason I went in there basically was to get some Milani stuff. And I'm like, I have to get the new Milani eyeshadows or whatever they are. They're not new. But um, they didn't have any of those. All they had was foundations and like two lip glosses. And I'm like, are you serious right now? I came in here, I spent all this money, and I didn't even need any of it. Because that's not what I even went in there for story of life but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed another haul video even though there wasn't as much stuff I did blabble on for a while but anyways I hope you guys have a great rest of the day love you bye